Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another Radio Control Journey. Now I'm super excited about today's review. Uh, I've seen a lot about this on the internet, so I had to purchase it for my channel. Um, 1 to 18 scale FMS Atlas 6x6. I only have a couple of 18 scales. Now one I can tell you is the Hobby Plus. This thing's pretty mean. And I'm hearing that these two are pretty similar as far as axles and pan hard bar location. So, I don't know. Let's uh, dive right into it. Okay guys, right off I will say, it seems like they spent a decent amount of money on packaging. This thing's pretty awesome. Let's see if I can get my camera to focus, there we go. So it has a lot of qualities and features. I do have the red one. I like the exhaust on the bottom. Spare tire. Yeah, so just judging by packaging, you guys, definitely looks like this company has a decent amount of money. I don't think I've ever seen, other than my $800 uh, HG 8x8, I don't think I've seen anything really packaged like that before. So that's really nice. Definitely can take this on the go. magnetize or something unless it's just a tight fit slops right off you have instructions hard springs four-way wrench a little screwdriver Phillips and it does show you exploded parts if you want to disassemble Okay, so we've seen this before, if you're familiar with my channel. So this is a Hobby Plus type of controller. I had it on the 1 to 24th scale and the 1 to 18th scale. Alright. What else do we have in the package? So it's a USB charger, and then that's a bind plug, and I like that it has a 2S battery. Alright, now I did just grab the handle with batteries in it from the Hobby Plus 1 to 18th scale. I'm going to slide it in. Sweet. So now that we got the controller ready to go, let's take a look at this beast. So now the underside of that is slightly familiar. Pretty identical to the Hobby Plus 1 to 18th scale. But I'm liking the old Power Wagon look. This will be my first Power Wagon. I like the plastic grill. It's an actual grill and the hard it seems like it's a hard body but it's not it's it's like a uh, what a cup would be made out of like a party cup so it's not worm gear it's nice pretty sure no bearings has bushings And I like that there is a small set screw going through the plastic drive shafts. Plastic gears as well. But they're pretty beefy gears. You can see the springs. The shocks. Definitely no oil in this. And since this isn't an equal power center axle, um, you're going to see a lot of this guy lifting up due to the 
torque twist. The torque twist is just going to naturally lift this up without it even touching anything. And there is no foam in the tires, but the tire compound is extremely soft, you guys. Like, uh, if you're familiar with WPL kit, they're that soft, if not softer. So, and the, they're really flat, so I definitely see trimming these in the future to get some grip. But that fake exhaust is really nice. I like the chrome touch. It's screwed on. Mm, I can't say that it's metal or not. But it fools me. So I also like the brake lights. How they're guarded. And the rear end's a four link. Both rear ends are a four link. And the front, due to the pan hard bar, is a three link. Oh, we've seen that before as well. Because this little guy, Hobby Plus, has a pan hard bar. So we're going to start to see that. There's so many RC manufacturers out there, and companies are going to start to mingle with parts. It's no different than having a Nissan or an Infiniti. I mean, it's just. It's getting pretty crazy out there. So, but I do like this feature. Now, I do wish it lifted up more, but the bumper's in the way. So, pretty nice looking bumper. Pretty close to one we've seen before off of the Hobby Plus. And the battery is rubber band in. It's a 600. They have their name on it, so that's pretty nice. So the company seems like they definitely have some money. I would have liked to have seen these chrome smokestack coming up. It definitely looks okay, but and 150 bucks is a little steep, I would say, for something this tiny. And so it is an ESC receiver combo with a three-wire servo. That's nice. And the motor is tiny. There's no gear reduction on the motor. It's just motor into the transmission. And you guys, that is a tiny motor. I wonder if it is the same size. Yeah. Well, at least they have a bigger motor. That one is, let's say, what would you say, pinky nail, a little bigger. And then this one is definitely two pinky nails. So I'm, I'm definitely happy about that, but I want to see more options in the motor and transmission department. Because um, you do have a lot of room to grow lengthwise, but if you still want to run this transmission, which I'm sure is identical to this transmission and you're talking like a hundred to one or a hundred and seven to one so not bad you should have some parts uh, available for this if it's that similar to the hobby plus so that's nice as well I'm pretty sure those guys got fairly expensive oil shocks and metal drive shafts for something so small, stuff like that starts to get pretty expensive, in my opinion. So it looks like the same ESC receiver combo that you'll find in this guy, which is also running a three-wire servo. So the little rigs are starting to be pretty popular, if you think about it. All these companies and all the different types that they're starting to produce. And this thick anodized metal chassis... Oh man, it's awesome, you guys. I can't wait to get a battery charged up. Let me charge up the battery, and we're going to give her a go. Alright, you guys, the more I look at this thing and play with it, the more I like it. I mean, I know I said 150 bucks was steep, and it is, but from the spare battery holder that's in the back, the little uh, toolbox, I guess it would be, and just the way it looks, I mean, it's it's really awesome. It'd be cool if they made a 4x4 version as well. 
like the JJRC Q60 and Q61. And the steering servo seems to be super strong. I mean, definitely on point for how small this rig is. And so the droop setting, this is the soft springs. I'm also liking the droop setting, how it just rests under its own weight and then still has more to go. So that's definitely extremely nice. And the proportional electronics are better than what I thought they would be. Loud, mind you, they are loud. But I look at all the timing or clocking of the drive shafts and they're all perfect, just like they're supposed to be. So you don't get wheel hopping. So I'm sure it's going to have a unique way of driving for the simple fact that my rear taillights. Like I was saying before, like WPL instantly made the equal power center axle. If you, I can't get it to do it, but you might see in some of the videos of this thing on YouTube. There you go. So once you stop the rear axle, you see how that lifts up? That's what it's going to do. And that's not a big deal, but all the time it does that, it's not getting traction and you're driving a long wheelbase 4x4. So it would be nice if they notice that, if this gets extremely popular and they make another version, to go ahead and pay attention to that rear axle, or the center axle, and put an equal power center axle there so it doesn't do that. Or you can do like King Kong RC and bypass it with another drive shaft. So essentially you'd have a drive shaft that went to this axle and then another drive shaft coming from your transmission that went all the way to this one. And then I think that will eliminate it. I'm not too positive. I'm not too sure. So you can kind of get a pretty good glimpse of the articulation. And I like where the weight is. The weight definitely seems to be right where it needs to be before it flips. Alright you guys, so the FMS Atlas 6x6, in my opinion, maybe the only, but definitely the coolest 6x6 in 18th scale out there. Now this thing is going to work with me, and uh, I'm going to try to get a pretty cool running video and see how big of a beast it is. So the crawl speed is... got good low end crawl speed. See how fast it is. It's about average. So what do you guys think? I dig it. Now maybe for 120 bucks, 130 bucks, whatever, especially with everything going on in the world right now, 150 bucks is a little steep. But I paid it. I like it. I'm going to play with it. Definitely look out for the running video soon. Thank you very much for watching. If you like videos like this, consider hitting the subscribe button. Or even a thumbs up button. It helps my videos be seen by more people. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.